Well, you guys, today we're taking a look at seven common ways to block websites. Now, for whatever reason you've got for blocking a website, this is going to be for you. You can use these methods in conjunction with each other, or you can use them as just a separate method of doing it. But in my honest opinion, I would use it in conjunction with each other. Use a bunch of them to try and block as much as you can. So first off, family safety filters on browsers. Go to your Google search engine and type Google Safe Filter. And what this is going to do is allow you to be able to block a lot of stuff. You can see at the moment it's set to blur explicit images and explicit text and links may show. But if you want to block all of this stuff, then you want to do filter. And this will help filter out explicit images, text and links from your search. So if you've got young ones, maybe you want to block those. Uh, this is the way to start off. So start this off in your browser. And yes, you can do this in all other browsers. I'll show you that a little bit later on for other browsers, but you can do it with just Google Chrome or whatever other browser you want. Next, browser extensions. Let's go for Chrome Web Store. Now there's probably going to be options available for other browsers as well, but we're going to be using Chrome because that's the most popular browser. So from here, you want to do block site. So type for block site here in the search and we will then look for the one that we're looking for here, which is this one here. Make sure it's this one because there's tons of other ones. Now there is paywall features on here, but there is a free option available which you can use and you can see it's quite popular and it does block a lot of adult stuff and also a lot of other stuff that you might want to block from your search. So let's go ahead and set this up by adding the browser extension here. So here we can see right here, welcome to block site. They do have an actual website as well, which you can take a look at. But I think if you've got young children, this is going to be ideal for blocking that particular type of content that you want to protect them from. So skip for the limited plan. We're just going to look at the limited plan here, but it's not that expensive for the full plan. If you want to block a lot of content, and if you have young children, it's probably going to be the best option for you. So you can see here, I'm going to agree to these terms because I want to block adult content. So let's go ahead and basically agree to this. And you can already see that it's already added the uh, adult category in here. Now, this alone might not be enough, but it's going to be a start for you to start blocking that particular type of content. There is also other ones here. But remember, there's also a paywall here. So if you want to go crazy with this, then you will have to pay. But the free option is pretty good to start off with. If you want to block social media, you can do. Remember, you get up to free domains for free and then you start having to pay. So let's go ahead and check YouTube.com here, which is what I've blocked. And you can see, forget about it. And it says you put YouTube in your block list. If you don't want them tampering with it, you can also add in a password protection here to stop them changing this or uninstalling this plugin. You can also use Group Policy Editor to lock this down to stop them tampering with this particular uh, type of setting. Again, it's under a paywall for passwords. You have to use the unlimited plan and the unlimited plan is £3.16 a month, which I think for to keep your kids safe, I think that's a pretty good option. So that is the plugin options. There's probably going to be a few other ones, but this is a pretty good option. You can toggle it on and off right here. And there's also other options here as well. Like I said, password protection, which you have to pay for. They're on their little blue lock there. But again, that's pretty much to, to start you off and get you started. The next option that you want to take a look at is parent control apps and software. Microsoft do have this built into Windows itself. It's called Family. You will need to have a Microsoft account, unfortunately, to keep it safe. But then this is going to allow you to monitor exactly what your kids are doing if you want to use this for children. Once you set up your account, you'll be able to use this to help you stay focused on what you're trying to do in the daytime by blocking off social media. You can also limit game time here and do bunches of other stuff with this app. It's worth setting up if you've got uh, kids that you want to get them off the internet at certain times. You don't have to argue with them. The app will just take care of everything. 
and it will just lock down uh, the internet for them. So this is a really good option as well. And I would use this in conjunction with some of the other ones. Now, there's also things like Canopy and a bunch of other ones that you can use. These are, of course, paid options. But if you really want to block stuff, then you need to start uh, shelling out some cash to be able to make this 100% uh, possible of blocking every particular type of content that you don't want people to see. And you can see for $9.99, that's dollars a month for 10 devices. That means you can block their phones and you can track them and you can also block all of the stuff that they're trying to see. The next one we're looking at is the host file. You can edit the host file. There is a site here on GitHub which has an extensive list of adult domain names and IP addresses which you can block. I would advise you to download these and add these to your host file as well and then also protect your host file inside group policy by locking it so they can't tamper with it. Once this is done, you need to open up your notepad with administrator privileges just like I showed you, then go to file, open, and navigate to the host file location, which is in this PC, as you can see right here. Then go to the C drive, then go to Windows, and then you want to come down to System32. So come down here. And once we click on this one right here, again, what you want to do here is go to Drivers, click on Drivers, and then ETC. Inside here, you will see a blank screen you need to come down to the bottom right and go to all files and you will see a host file here click open and this is where you can start adding in your ip addresses that you want to block now the safe search is these ones right here for all browsers so whether it'll be for yahoo duckduckgo bing google uh, youtube safe search whatever it is you're trying to do here these are the right ip addresses I'll try and leave these in the video description or on my website so you can just copy and paste them in. Now you can add in your adult sites list from that uh, GitHub website here. And there's an extensive list here. It keeps this updated. And again, it's a great step to add in conjunction with your other methods that you're trying to block sites to protect young children. So it's a really good way of blocking that sort of stuff. And again, it might be for adults that have religious reasons or they just don't want to look at that stuff. You can actually block it by using this method as well. It's a really good way of blocking it. Now, another way is the DNS. So you can use OpenDNS and they have an option here to add in these IP addresses, which are for your home router, which is recommended. You can choose your router here and add it into your router settings. And this means it will be network wide across your network and it will block all of the uh, nasty stuff that is out there on the internet if you don't want to look at it. And it shows you here for every particular type of um, you know, menu system for routers. And if you can't find it here, it's going to be pretty straightforward to look inside your router menu and find the DNS settings and change it to these. You can do this on computers and laptops, smart devices, and other devices as well, which means it keeps them 100% safe and stops them from seeing stuff you don't want to see. Gambling, uh, alcohol, maybe adult content or any sort of violent content, it will block all of that stuff. And this is a really good uh, method to also put in conjunction with other methods that you're using as well to keep it 100% safe. So let's go ahead and set this up. I'll quickly show you how you can set this up for your DNS. Now, remember, if kids are smart, they're going to know how to reverse this, but you can lock it down and stop them tampering with this with group policies as well. And you would be using a, a you know, standard account. You wouldn't be using administrator accounts, so you wouldn't be able to change anything without your permission anyway. So inside your Ethernet settings right here, you can go in here and you can change the DNS. So let's go ahead and do this inside here. So DNS servers, we can go edit. You can see it's automatic DHCP. We can go manual. We can put IP uh, v4 on. And now we can change the DNS right here. If you want to, it says DNS over HTTPS. And we're going to say yes here. And again, you would then start going through and putting your uh, IPs inside here to block these 
particular sites. Now, another easier way to do it, I'll show you the other way of doing it, which is a little bit more easier than this method. So let me come out of here and go back. I'm going to cancel this one right here, and we'll go back inside the network and internet Ethernet settings. So from here, you want to go advanced network settings down the bottom here inside network and internet. From here, what you want to do is go to Ethernet here or your Wi-Fi, and what you want to do is more adapter options, click edit, and of course, Microsoft love to bury all this in Windows 11, but you want to choose Internet Protocol uh, version 4 and then obtain DNS servers address automatically and turn this to use the following DNS servers and put it here. This is on the computer itself. It's always advisable to put this on the router because it's much more secure and it will have a password and it will stop people from changing it. And this is then going to force you to actually use those DNS server settings. So you can also go to your, uh, you know, your router settings for your ISP, and they sometimes have family safe settings you can also apply there as well. So open up the command prompt by typing CMD and run this as administrator, and then you want to flush the DNS. So go IP config space forward slash flush DNS and push enter and this will flush the DNS. And what we want to do now is clean all the temporary internet files and make sure there's no traces of any other sites stored in there. And this way, when you use the computer again, it will be a fresh start. And when you're surfing the web or your kids are surfing the web or yourself, will not be able to see any of that sort of stuff. It will block it all out. Now, I'm not going to be doing any searches and testing here for reasons that I don't want to be having to blur stuff out. And again, it, YouTube can get a bit funny when you're showing that sort of stuff on YouTube. So I'll just leave it up to you and let you know that you should be 100% safe from that particular type of content. Anyway, I hope this helps you out. I know there's going to be a few people that are going to say, why would you want to do this? I enjoy watching that stuff. That's entirely up to you. But this is how you can block any sort of website using these common methods. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Just want to say a big shout out to all my YouTube members who join my YouTube members group, whether you're tier one, tier two, or tier three. I really do appreciate the support. Anyway, I shall catch you in the next video, or I'll catch you on the Discord server. The new link is in the video description. Thanks again for watching. Bye for now.